These videos will make you question everything. So remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's check it out. If I lift my shirt up, you can see it. Okay, but, so did you want him to see that you were armed? Did you tell him you were armed? Um, I don't, no, I don't think so, no. But, you can't pick me for what? Yes, I can. For what? I don't know you. You're painting me for what crime? Because you don't want to listen. You're, You're not, not my mom. Because I'm coming You're not my dad. For a... Look at you. <laughs> You're furious. What did I do? You did not listen. You're not my boss. Right I, now, all I need you to uh, do is keep your mouth shut. Yeah, that's, I don't care. I'm not going to do it. Arrest me. For can you, you to shut your me. mouth so I can explain it to Are you? Are you in charge of this lady? Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. A couple months ago, I posted a story about a viewer named Ryan from Palm Beach Gardens. He was swimming laps and was asked by a woman who arrived later that he swim the other length of the pool. Ryan refused and the two collided, causing a verbal dispute. The woman called her husband and instead of removing themselves from the situation, the two continued to advance on Ryan until the man brandished his firearm, causing both parties to call 911. That full story is linked here, as well as in the description and pinned comment. If you haven't seen that publication yet, I highly recommend you start there to catch up and to see the aftermath and the department's complete fail. Otherwise, after Ryan's called to 911, the first officer on scene checks in with him and goes inside to find the suspect. Ryan waits outside, and shortly after, Officer Bethany Guerrero arrives on scene. As she pulls in, the first officer informs her of his presence. 33, I'm making contact on the other side of the pool, just let me know. She acknowledges the hill as she exits next to another officer pulling in and approaches Ryan. Dressed All right, before we get started and get really deep into this, is this obviously going to take a turn for the worse? Does nobody swim with their eyes open? I know I can't be the only person that was thinking that. When I'm in a pool and I'm swimming, unless the chlorine is heavy and it's burning my eyes, I have my eyes open to see where I'm going. Is people just swimming with their eyes closed? I, I had to ask that question. It was gonna, it was gonna aggravate me. Just in nothing but a bathing suit. Oh, oh. Come in. How you doing? Touch pockets for me. I'm not the one to go. Sir, I don't keep your hands out of your pockets. Read my phone. I haven't done a crack. Don't talk to me Listen like that. Listen to me. I don't know you. You Listen, can put that down. I don't down. know you. You're the one who's your hands out to your side. I haven't now. committed a crime. You now you can talk. put your hands behind your back. You can't get me. Who the f is this? Where's Relax. your supervisor? I'm He's getting you. See how she's talking? Way. I haven't Relax. done anything. You don't Why am listen. I in handcuffs? I don't care. You're, You're not my mom. Because I'm coming You're not my here dad. for a gun. That's fine. I don't have a gun. I haven't committed a crime. We, when I told you to when keep your hands out of your pocket, you not did my, it. I didn't commit a crime. You you don't get to tell me what to do. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Why are you yelling at me? Because I have every Who right to right now. Who are you? What's your badge number? 321 Guerrero. G-U-E-R-R-I-O. Make sure you spell it right. You, if you're this scared... Of a guy in a yeah, been here for 20 years. 20 years is important. We'll get back to that shortly. You're terrified of a guy in a swimsuit. I didn't do anything. You can shut your mouth. She just they just detained me. I explained. There's no guns. That guy I don't detain anybody for no reason. Then what reason? Because I What crime did I commit for you, you to detain me? Shut your mouth so I can explain it to you. Are you in charge of this lady? Who's the sarge? This is absurd. Why am I in handcuffs on the ground? Can you, are you a yeah. supervisor? No, he's not. Can someone explain why I'm handcuffed can you on the ground? shut your mouth no. so I can talk to you? Look at you. <laughs> You're furious. What did I do? You did not listen. You're not my boss. Listen to I me. I don't need to listen to you. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Who are you? We got this is the only way. I didn't commit a crime. I don't give a fuck. I didn't commit a crime. She doesn't right. get to detain me. Yes, pull, I her do. Gun, pull her gun on me. Because when pull you put your hands in your pocket and I, I didn't commit a crime. Of a I don't gun, care. You you're don't that terrified? Listen. You shouldn't be a cop if you're that terrified. I've been here for 20 years, yeah. punk. Yeah, yeah, here, here, go somewhere real. Ryan is referencing the fact that Palm Beach Gardens is home of the PGA, some of the lowest crime rates in Florida and neighbors mm. Mar-a-Lago. You're terrified of Palm Beach you know Gardens. Are you a favor? supervisor? Can you ask this lady why I'm in handcuffs? Tell her what crime I've committed. I keep I've trying committed. to tell you, Go ahead, you what keep crime? talking over me. What crime? Okay. Let's bring it down enough. No, okay? just tell me what crime I'm in handcuffs for. Because I get called it because crime. someone is... What's suspicion? Yeah, you don't need to be in crime. Yes, you I don't need to, to, to pay me. You time. need suspicion of a crime. No, you do not. She, yes, you do. You don't know the law? Please you explain it to You so cannot just go around detaining random people. Can you, can you, can you, can you calm people. down? Can you calm down for can a second? I'm in handcuffs you calm for down? Random. Obviously, we're not getting anywhere. I'll calm down if I can stand up. No, no you can have a seat on the ground. For what crime? What I'm in do? charge, not you. No, you're not. And you blue nail polish, cute. Okay. Yo, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna do it. What did I do? Sit down, all right? What did I do? All right, don't try to get up. Sit down. 
Excuse me, sir. Are you in charge? No. Nope. Can someone tell me why I'm in handcuffs? I already told someone what in charge. What crime to stand here. or what? Right now, all I need you to do is keep your mouth shut. Yeah, that's. I don't care. I'm not going to do it. Arrest me. You are. Yeah, arrest. I want to. Okay, arrest me. You are. Go ahead, take me to jail. Go ahead, take me to jail. Take me to jail right now. Take me to jail. Do it. Do it. Oh, I will. Do it. I'm, I'm ready. To. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. What's your name, dude? Excuse me. What's your name? What's your Allow name? me to stand What's up and your name? No. no. Negative. Doesn't work that way. Okay. Tell Come me on. what crime I'm here for. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry already, about it. You are already. You are. You're under arrest. For what crime? You have to give your name. You're already on arrest. That's fine. What crime, though? Don't worry. She already told you. She's already got you. Resisting arrest resisting. is a secondary charge. That's a secondary it's charge. It's not a secondary. Then take me to jail. I'm you are going to jail. Don't worry about it. I got you. Let's go. There's your supervisor. That's fine. Whoa. I'm ready. Take me. You can sit there. I'm ready to go to jail. Take me. Yeah. You're gonna. We have one, two, three, four, and now walking up makes number five. I'm hoping he's the supervisor, but this just went, huh? What about the person brandishing the gun? We can't even get to that part because we can't even communicate right now. Go, trust Is your me. body camera on, sir? All our body cameras are on. Perfect. Perfect. A supervisor finally arrives on scene, and though both parties called 911, the officers appear to already be siding with the man that brandished his firearm. So this one, pull up. We need somebody on scene who can like de-escalate the situation. Let's get it calmed down. Somebody who has a skill set of de-escalating situations, bro. I, I don't know if that we need to get a hostage negotiator on scene or what, but somebody to be able to be like calm bro down. And knowing that if he goes here and you go here, y'all probably not going to get nowhere. Somebody needs to kind of tone it down and keep toning it down to bring him down to their level because he's amped and they're amped and we ain't getting nowhere. The other guy felt threatened by him. What am I up to? He's standing here. All right. The other guy that called is warm. Can you start up for a minute so I can... Hey, hey, stop. I'm not going to stop talking. Put him on the face on the ground. Stop. I'm not going to stop talking. Stop. Arrest You are under arrest. I got you. Take me to jail. Go ahead. Caller calls. I guess he was doing this, harassing the out of his wife, yelling and screaming. Husband 38. He's harassing this one is harassing. Wife? Yes. Wait, the caller's wife or his wife? His wife. The caller has a gun. This guy came at him the way he came at us, and he opened up his shirt. He came out here. Me and, and Strzelecki were up. He's got his hands in his pocket, and I go, bro, take your hands out of your pocket, right? And then when I, he didn't hit it, he goes, he goes and pulls the phone out, and he goes to put it back and said, keep it. Officer Guerrero just made up a series of events that are close to true, but are manipulated just enough to portray her actions as lawful. First, that's what I was sitting here saying. I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, did I not see? I didn't see what she's talking about, like all of what she's talking about. This is pretty fabricated to kind of fit her. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, I even think she got the two people confused, the, the caller with the gun and this guy. I think she kind of got them confused. She claims that they approached Ryan and that she drew her firearm because his hand was in his pocket. But what really happened is the officer drew her weapon only after Ryan told her not to talk to him so disrespectfully, seven seconds after his hands were removed from his pocket. Hey man, how you doing? That is true. Hands out your pockets for me? I'm not the one to go. Sir, I don't keep your hands out of your pockets. Put the phone I down. haven't done a crime. Don't talk to me Listen like that. Listen to me. I don't know you. Listen, you can put I that don't down. Know you. You're the one with the gun. Why Get down you? on the ground now. Get what down the ground. Is this? She then makes up a third time as she continues to embellish her story by adding language that was never used and pretending that she was dealing with Ryan all by herself. He goes and pulls the phone out and he goes to put it back and says, keep it. And I throw down on him. And he goes, Where am I going to put a gun on your bathing suit? I said, I don't know you. Right? So then he goes to like, um, he goes to like go back in his pockets again. Now he's laughing. And I go, Get on the ground. Right? So he gets on the ground. And he tosses his phone to the side. And I go, Put your hands behind your back. So I cuff him up. He's like, Look at you, you piece of shit. You and I like just went off. You have no right to detain me. He goes, Resisting arrest is a, is a, is a second. And I'm like, What are you talking about? So obviously he's amped up on something. But when he, like the, the first couple times when he didn't want to listen to me about keeping his hands out of his pocket that thought it was funny, I drew down on him. Okay. Right. That guy. Has, has anybody talked to? Not yet, because Mike came okay. running out. Joe went running out. Let's... I'm over here literally by myself with this guy. All right. 
Are you okay to go talk to her? Yes. The supervisor tells her to talk to the woman who ignited the situation. This is why we have to keep making sure they have their body cams on. They got to, bro. We need the full play-by-play -play from all different body cam angles, plus street cameras and other cameras, CCTV, CCTV footage from around the area, everything. We need as much footage and audio as possible, bro, because the story could get easily misconstrued to make it look like they were in the right. I had to call my husband. I had to call my house against me. She steps aside with the first officer on scene, and they mute their cameras. The first officer appears to tell that the suspect admitted to lifting his shirt to show his firearm. Five minutes later, they return to speak with the only one that committed a crime. Well, prior to the officer's arrival, that is. Can you wish to tell me what happened here today so I can have a better understanding? Yeah, I mean, my, my wife called me. This is what my... You know, my involvement started. My wife okay. called me. Um, That's your wife? Yeah. Um, I was in the apartment in groceries away, and she called me and said that there was a guy harassing her at the pool. Okay. Was it that guy over there? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so I just ran over here. Um, and as soon as I got here, he got out of the pool and started screaming. Um, at you? My, well, at me and my wife. Okay. Who was he um, saying? He was saying something like, your wife is f***ing crazy. She's, or she's f***ing crazy. She's making me move. Or I'm not going to move. And... Um, that's kind of how it started, it was just like, you know, basically throwing insults at my wife. Um, and, but then he got out of the pool and he started like, you know, like swinging his arms up and down. Like okay. or something, just like. Ryan does make some wild gestures with his arms. They are easily identified as referring to the pool and telling the couple to leave. Never did he ball his fists or, quote, swing his arms up and down like a gorilla or something. He's obviously a lot bigger than me. And I didn't. You know, want to get involved. I was trying to pull my wife away, and she just got closer. You didn't want to get involved, but you were. St it was on video. You're walking towards him. He's standing still, but you're walking towards him. What do you mean you don't want to get involved? If that's the case, you'd have grabbed your wife, called the police or whatever, and removed yourself. She he got closer. No, no, no. She got well. He he got out of the pool and started walking in our direction. Um, I was like, mm -hmm. he, he came out of the pool at that corner. Mm -hmm. I was at this corner. Okay. He got out and came a little bit closer. Then my wife went up to him. I tried to get him between them and push my wife back. Was she saying anything to him about that? I, I don't remember. Um, I don't, I don't, probably, but I don't remember. Okay. Um, and she, uh, I'm not sure what happened after that. Um, and yeah, that's. At what point did the gun become involved? Um, I'm not really sure. It was after that, but, but well, how, did, how did he know that you were armed? Um, I'm not sure. I, I you know. told that other officer that you put your hands up like this so that my wife said that. Um, I'm, I'm not completely sure, to be honest with you. I know it didn't come out of, of the holster or anything like that. No, I didn't um, say it came out, but how was he able to know that you were armed? Because he called us and said that you were armed. So how did he know that? I don't know. I mean, if I lift my there it is right there. You walking up on him. Why are you walking up on him? That's the thing. And when you walking up on me and I see you got a clip or I see a bulge in that looks like in the shape of a gun. Like, no, fam, don't walk up on me. My shirt up, you can see it. Okay. But so did you want him to see that you were armed? Did yeah. you tell him you were armed? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. No. Yes, you did. You just raised your shirt up. It's on. See, that's the thing about a camera, bro. Camera not going to lie. You raised your shirt up. The man is obviously lying and has now told two different versions of events to two separate officers at the expense of Ryan. Bethany leaves suddenly and meets with the others with their body cams turned off. And when they return to question the suspect again, they try a more firm approach and How receive a third version of events more closely related to the truth. Okay, so we spoke with that gentleman. Okay, I spoke to him. I'm trying to understand exactly what happened again. Can you explain to me from your perspective what happened? Oh, exactly. I, I mean, I think I already explained it as well as I can. From, from the time that you got the phone call from your wife, she calls you, hey, I'm in an argument over here with so-and-so. 
she said, can you come help? What what happened? She said that he was harassing her. Okay, so what happened? You came over here and what? Where was he located when you came in here? Um, he was swimming when I came. He got out of the pool on that side. Okay, and where was your wife at? Um, to be honest, I'm not sure. Okay, so you're in that corner and he's in that corner. Okay, so what happened from there? I'm, like I said, I think she, I mean, he started screaming, he balled his fist up, he started, you know, lifting his fist up and down, he started walking closer. Yeah, he uh, said. Well, hold on, ma'am. Yeah. Do you mind just, yeah. Um, he started screaming, he, he really started screaming as soon as he got out of the pool, as soon as I got here. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like. Almost having anxiety attack. No problem. Right if, if you need fire rescue, I'll, I'll call no, them no, no, for you. If you need to be checked out. I'm just, just uh, whenever you're ready. I, I'm just trying to understand everybody's side of what happened here. So he gets out of the pool. He's in that corner. You come in here, and then what happened? Um, he started screaming. He started getting closer. He started falling up his fists. So he's walking towards press. you. Yes. Okay. Um, and. <laughs> Uh, I think then I think then my wife got closer to him, and I tried to insert myself in between them. Okay. Um, so at that point we were maybe like four or five feet apart. Okay. Um, at what point in time did you pull up your shirt? Somewhere in there. Okay. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm really not sure. What was your intentions when you pulled up your shirt? Um. You know, I'm, I really am not comfortable saying anymore. I'm not, I'm so hazy in my memory, but I don't want to say it wrong. Yeah, he realizing now that he done messed up. First of all, he done gave several different stories already. Cause first he said he didn't do that. He don't know how he saw it. Now he's saying you rose, you pulled the shirt up now. Now you don't feel comfortable. Cause now you feel like you're in hot water. You feel like you're deep. And now you don't want to go no further because you want to get your lawyer involved and stuff like that. This is what happens. This is why they keep asking you to explain the story over and over again, because you keep changing up the story. Okay. Um, I, can, I, can I wait until I have a lawyer? Sure, that's absolutely. That, that's 100% I mean, up to you. Okay. Can you tell me, are you, am I gonna need a lawyer? Am I gonna that, that, That's up to you. I mean, you can request a lawyer any, you. anytime you want. These right here is surveillance footage, though. I'm just letting you know, mm -hmm. okay? So. Out of everything that has happened, the suspect almost makes the right move by nearly invoking his Sixth Amendment right to counsel during this investigation. He should have pleaded the fifth to begin with, but instead, he appears to have incriminated himself while simultaneously raising questions concerning his integrity. Furthermore, it's important to know that when exercising your Sixth Amendment right, you must assert that you want a lawyer present during questioning. This was made clear from the infamous case where a suspect said, quote, just give me a lawyer dog. The court ruled that he was not invoking his right to counsel because the request was too ambiguous to trigger the Sixth Amendment. Here, the man asks if he can wait for a lawyer. Um, I, can I can I wait until I have a lawyer? Sure, that's absolutely. And then again, asking if he's going to need a lawyer. Can you tell me, are you, am I going to need a lawyer? Am I going to? That, that, that's up to you. The answer is yes. Do not talk to cops. They cannot compel your speech. Unfortunately, because the compulsory education system neglects teachings concerning human rights, the man never uttered the proper phrase, and the officers continue asking questions. Uh, okay, we'll be right back with you. We just wanted, I mean, to, we just wanted to give I... you the opportunity because we're going to look at those cameras, and we just yeah. want to make sure that what we're going to watch mm -hmm. matches what you're saying. Mm -hmm. That's all. I'm just trying to, honestly, like, you may not feel like it, but we're trying to help you out. Because what I don't want is for you to give us one statement, or not really a statement at all, that doesn't match what's going to be on that camera. If, it, if you, what you're telling us matches the camera, then okay, I get it. But we're going to have a problem if what you're telling me and what I watch does not match. Well, I mean, I'm telling you, I, I lifted my shirt up. If I lift my shirt up, you can see it. Okay. But... So did you want him to see that you were armed? Did you tell him you were armed? Um, I don't, no, I don't think so, no. Okay. It, I wasn't, I mean... How long ago did you get your CCW? About a, a little under a year. And you had to attend a class, right, yes. for that? Yeah. Okay. At any point during your encounter with him, did you inform him that you were armed? 
Um, I mean, I think that was informing him that I was armed. By lifting up your shirt? Yes. So it wasn't like announcing, hey, I'm, I'm armed, you're, you're threatening us, like the, nothing like that was exchanged? I... Okay, we'll leave it there. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll leave it there. You already asked for more. We'll leave it there. Bethany now joins the other officers to discuss a game plan. Is anybody contacted me for me to get one? We're that walking off the road. They're going to town now. Okay. So what what you I mean, what's the, next, what's the next move here? Any police officers in the in the comment section? Put it in there, man. What's the next play? What can you, what do you do next? Are they going to arrest him? Pretty sure they're probably going to arrest him. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say either you hold him or you file, but we have a weapon and it was used in a crime. Well, we'll take the weapon. So, don't worry about that. Um, what are you going to take the weapon for? Right now, pending the outcome of this investigation. Okay. Sure. So then I, I would go with that then. Take him for the resistance. Yeah. What do you think about it? And then, I mean, if anything, file on him. You can let him know, hey, we're taking your firearm, um, pending the outcome of this investigation. But I, I, I feel like at this point they both deserve to go and i'll tell you why he took a the officers shut off their cameras but ultimately ryan was arrested for resisting arrest though he was never under arrest for an arrestable offense which is why after being driven around in the squad car for a few hours he was released without charges just before the officers booked him while on scene, the officers did review the cameras from the pool and confirmed that the armed man did almost everything he could to further instigate the conflict. Rather than removing himself and his wife from the insults, Ryan is alleged to have yelled towards them. Ryan maintained- And it was his wife. You know what I mean? She's the one that pretty much got them into this situation. Granted, whatever happened, happened. But then standing right here, they should have stood right there or left. She kept walking. He getting in between. She move up, he get in between. She move up, he get in between. Now it's escalate, escalate. Now he walks up to him and shows him that he has it. Means that he never uttered any threats towards the couple, and the surveillance footage does not have audio to confirm either side's claims. But if there were threats made, why is it that no specific threat was reported to the officers? I tried to find out when the suspect emailed me to demand that I remove the original video. But of course, he didn't respond to my inquiry. He did offer to provide his side of the story and suggested that I missed several details, but again, no claims of threats and no details added, other than the fact that his wife is expecting twins, which in hindsight makes his actions even more disturbing. I've been a very vocal supporter of the Second Amendment, but if we watch the video and imagine Ryan uttering the worst possible threats to the man and his wife, we still see several instances in which the couple could have left the scene. We also see that Ryan stays within a 10-foot area, while the couple closes the distance to Ryan. Brandishing a firearm is punishable by up to one year in prison, which means the man could have missed the birth of his children over such a petty argument. If you carry a concealed weapon, please have thicker skin and more sense than this to know when to walk away. Take this story as your lesson. Nobody was hurt, and somehow, despite his admissions on scene, the man escaped charges. But I'm sure that it still wasn't worth his time and the trouble it's caused this couple. Finally, for the past several months, Palm Beach Gardens police maintained radio silence. That is, until August 25th, when the chief announced that Bethany was fired after 19 and a half years in service. What's wow. your badge number? 321 Guerrero, G-U-E-R-R-I, make sure you spell it right. You, if you're this scared, of a guy in a swimsuit for 20 years you're terrified of a guy in a swimsuit i didn't do anything six more months and we would have had to pay for her retirement so far this is the only record i've received wow. regarding this incident but i'm expecting more footage from the other officers soon so let me know if you want another update on this story in the comments section when that rolls in as for ryan there's quite a bit of news regarding his next actions but he's limited to what he can say about it for now so we'll have to wait a little longer for that he plans on making announcements when he is ready to proceed so be sure to swing by his channel to subscribe and let him know I sent you. Ryan's channel is linked here and be sure to check out one of these other videos if you enjoyed. Yeah, I want to see how this is going to play out. You know what I mean? How do y'all feel? Do y'all feel like he should he was in the wrong a lot in the situation? I feel like everybody played their part, including the police officers and had some wrongdoing. Um, but how do y'all feel about Ryan?
You know, was he right about them him saying to her, listen, you're an officer. You don't know how to, if, if this gets you riled up, then what about if you go out into another situation, alluding to that? What about the guy who had the firearm and he, how he handled it? The wife, the officers, like everybody, let me know how you feel everyone played their part. All right? And um, y'all stick around and stay tuned. More to come. Till next one, I'm gone.